All right, so today I got a uh, SG that uh, Matt down at uh, Matt and Chris down at Texas Toast uh, Guitars built. I went down there last week and I saw this hanging in our booth. I'm like, guys, that needs pinstriping. So here we are today. We're gonna do some uh, quick pinstriping on this thing, utilizing some of my Alpha enamels and uh, a Mac dagger. So I really have no way out on here. I'm just going to kind of start with it and see where it takes me. I'm going to kind of give it a little bit of old school vibe. Palleting off my brush here. Getting it flowing right. Green stands out real nice on there. Got a little bit of Arctic cat color going on. I like it. Purple and green. It's one of my favorite combos. Is this for a customer or is it just for doing a uh, This isn't specifically, this is kind of a spec build for those guys. The Alpha Enamel is uh, formulated much like one shot. It's safe to uh, clear over it after a short period of time. I usually let stuff like this dry for 24 hours before I put any urethane clear over top of it. I'm gonna keep it real clean. Not too cut, cluttered. Okay, keep up with the paint. Usually I palette it out. It's about every other stroke. There's a real long one I always palette afterwards. That's pretty important. Controlling your breathing. I have a nice little center block here I'm going to have to add into that somehow to bring that together. So I'm taking this little dagger that I've butchered down to this little micro size. I'm going to do the fill inside these little contained areas. Yeah. 
I'll let this stuff set up before I do my second color so I don't blend them together. A little more of a drag or surface tension. Pulling this paint over tacky paint. And I'm left handed, so I generally try to do the stuff on the right if I'm gonna worry about dragging my stuff, my fingers through it. I'm gonna work my way around. touch up on the tip of that. Grab some green real quick. Use the same brush. Rinse it out with a little turpentine. I'm gonna let it dry for about 10 minutes. And then I'll go over top of all that with a light purple. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm taking this light purple and I'm gonna do some accent lines in here. I'm not gonna overwork everything. I'm just gonna kinda of add into it and uh, maintain the flow. Pinstriping is one of those things that I think if you have the patience, you can learn it. It's not, it's, it's not overly difficult. After this is all dry, what I can do is come back in here and take this blade and clean up some of the ends where I might pull it over a little bit longer. You don't want to take thinner, but when it's dry, it scrapes right off and you clean them right up. And there it is. Two colors, three colors, and a, and a brush. <laughs> 